Today we are going to present YMAPS. YMAPS is an application we built for indoor location detection. We are currently on the second floor of the Princeton Computer Science Building. On the right is the view of the application. On the left is a view of me using the application. In the left view, you can see a laptop which is running a server, which our phone is communicating with to determine its indoor location. You can see that as we move down the hallway, our application shows our location accordingly. We are tracking location by using Wi-Fi and cellular tower data. On the server, we are running a machine learning algorithm called Random Forest, which uses previously recorded data for training. While not perfect, our algorithm is quite accurate and becomes more so with additional data. Such an application might prove extremely useful in a shopping mall to find a particular store or an airport to find a particular terminal. In addition to mapping out the second floor of the computer science building at Princeton, we did the same with the basement and the first floor. Here we are starting in the basement and taking the stairs up to the first floor. You'll notice that the map changed automatically as I moved to the first floor. The application takes some time to get a location lock after changing floors because it is associating to a new access point, but eventually does so. Next, we devise a game for distributed online learning. The leaderboard currently shows us that we have 40 points. A location on the floor has been randomly selected, and we are told to tap the screen once we arrive there. Once we arrive, we tap the screen and see a question regarding the specific area. In this case, we are asked whether we are next to the men's washroom, women's washroom, or an elevator. Looking to our right, we are indeed next to the men's washroom. We are told our answer is correct, that we are given 10 points, and to wait for 10 seconds as the application records location data and sends it to the server. Once the data has been collected, a new location is randomly generated and we are told to go there. In this case, we purposely choose a wrong answer to show that in this case, we do not receive points, we do not record the user's location data, and we simply move on to the next random location. In this final question, we are asked, from a set of three nearby windows, you can see computers, trees, or buildings. Looking to our right through the set of three windows, we see that the correct answer is computers. Our answer is correct, and again our application records location data and sends it to the server. The leaderboard shows that we now have 60 points since we answered two questions correctly. Thanks for listening.